Liquid Meaning presents the true story of Jesus done by children for children. Once upon a time there was a pretty young girl. Northern Palestine was her home. Mary was the name, engaged to be married to Joseph, a poor young carpenter. Not long before they were to be married, the angel Gabriel came to Mary in the night. She awoke, and gazing in wonder as the room filled with glorious light. Who are you? Hello, Mary. God bless you. You are blessed among women. What is this you're saying to me? Don't be afraid, Mary. You are going to have a baby, a boy, and you shall call his name Jesus. How can this happen? I'm not even married. The Spirit of God shall come to you. And you will have a special baby. He's going to be called the Son of God. And his kingdom is going to be forever. Here I am, the handmaiden of the Lord. Let it happen, just as you said. Now Joseph thought of putting Mary away When he found that she was with child but an angel of the Lord said to Joseph in a dream, Fear not to take Mary for your wife. Now Caesar Augustus, the great Roman king, sent out a law to tax all the world, and so everyone had to leave everything and return to their places of birth. Mary and Joseph had a long way to go to get to their home in Bethlehem. The journey was hard and Mary was soon to give birth to the baby within. Joseph, I'm so glad we finally arrived in Bethlehem. Yes, Mary, but the town is full of people. They all come here to be taxed. I hope we'll find a place to stay. How do you feel, Mary? I think the baby is going to come any time now. I've got to find a place quick. You can't just have the baby right here in the middle of the street. Oh, please, Lord, lead us to a place where Mary can have your baby. Let's try here. Yes, what can I do for you? We have traveled all the way from Nazareth, and we really need a place to stay. Can you help us? No, I'm sorry, I can't. Everybody is here to pay their taxes, and there's no room. I'm sorry. But look, my poor wife is going to have a baby at any minute. 
I've got to have a place to put her. Well, maybe I could help you. You see, I have a stable just down the road. It's not fancy, but you can stay there for the night if you like. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Yes, we'd like to stay in your stable. I'll have my boys put in some fresh hay. Thank you so much. place to have a baby, but thank the Lord for providing it. I'll fix up a bed over here for us. Thank you, Joseph. So Mary had baby Jesus right there in the barn, wrapped him in swaddling clothes to keep him warm. The manger where she laid him, where cows and oxen fed, became our Savior's first bed. Out on the hillside were shepherds watching sheep, keeping their flocks by night. Suddenly appeared an angel of the Lord, filling the sky with light. Glory to God in the highest, peace. On earth, two men of good will. What? What's happening? What's that? I'm afraid. Don't be afraid, for today is born in the city of Bethlehem a Savior, Christ the Lord. You shall find him wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. No! Go to Bethlehem and see him. But how shall we find him? Bethlehem is full of people. The same God who sent the angels will lead us to the place where we can find the baby. Let's go. on the hill, not far from here. Oh, please come in and share our joy with us. Tonight, my wife has just had a baby, a beautiful baby boy. Praise God. God led us to the right place. You see, we were sitting around our campfire to keep warm when suddenly a bright light shone around us, and then there were hundreds of angels singing. And they told us that tonight in Bethlehem, our Savior Christ is born. So we came right away, and the Lord led us right here. Two years went by unto Bethlehem. Wise men came from afar. Saying, Where is he that is born to be king? From the east we have followed his star. We have read in the stars that a great king, the Messiah, is born here. I have brought him a present of frankincense. And I have brought him a present of myrrh. And I have brought him gold. Thank you so much. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> 
Frankincense is a lovely perfume that shows that Jesus is the Son of God. Myrrh is a sad perfume that shows that Jesus is not only a king, but that he is going to die for us. Gold is to crown him king to reign over us forever. So that is the story of the very first Christmas of nearly 2,000 years ago. When God sent his son and he is here with us, to give us his mercy and love, to give us his mercy and love. Yes, that's the story of the very first Christmas, nearly 2,000 years ago. But Jesus is still with us today. Have you received him into your heart as your Savior? If not, then come along and sing this little prayer with the children. Jesus, come into my heart. Fill me with your love and light. Children everywhere, pray this simple prayer. Ask Jesus in tonight. Jesus, come in. Yes, God bless you and keep you this Christmas and every Christmas until Jesus comes back and we will have Christmas forevermore. Jesus, come into my heart, fill me with your love and light. Children everywhere, pray this simple prayer, as Jesus is tonight. In the true story of Jesus, Joseph was played by Patrick, Mary by Mimi, the angel by Dickon. The shepherds were Christian and Koa. The innkeeper was Nathaniel, and the wise men were Armandria, Celeste, and Nicholas. Music, script, and production was by Jeremy and Peter. Our address is CPO 220 Athens in Greece, if you'd like to write. That's CPO 220 Athens in Greece.